Hi there friends! So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Um, it is specifically about podcasts. Um, podcasts that I recommend to readers. Uh, this is aimed, I guess, mostly at speculative fiction readers, uh, so sci-fi and fantasy. But there, many of these podcasts kind of overlap into mystery and other types of fiction as well. So, uh, if you like fiction, then I recommend a lot of these. Uh, there are also sort of three <laughs> categories of bookish podcasts that I listen to, um, so I'm gonna divide it up into that. Uh, first is, like, folklore, fairy tales, myths, legends, uh, that sort of thing. Um, next is going to be a category of just general bookish podcasts, and last but not least, our podcast about this world <laughs> that I listen to, uh, because of course I listen to this world podcasts. All right, so um, starting with lore, that's the one I said first, right? All right, uh, so this is uh, fairy tales, myths, folktale. Um, the first one is actually the the podcast that got me into listening to podcasts. Um, and that is What the Folklore. Uh, one of the hosts is actually a friend of mine from high school, but basically they go through a lot of lesser known fairy tales and folk tales, and they <laughs> started out, I think, with the intention of analyzing them and making them more appealing to the modern day reader and seeing why that um, those stories were shared for so long and, like, went down into history, but eventually it kind of became, we don't know why people would tell this story, let's just, let's just be funny and <laughs> talk about this story, and it's a comedy podcast, I, uh, really enjoy it. Anytime I'm low, um, I actually go back through the backlog of the episodes and just re-listen to the show. Um, because they always are able to put a smile on my face. Alright. Uh, next folklore one is Colored Folklore. This is a relatively new podcast, and it specifically focuses on folklore from, um, from Asia, from Africa, from indigenous tribes in America, um, as well as other colored folklore, um, basically not Western Europe or colonized areas. Um, so, or I guess, yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, I really recommend that one. The host is really funny and uh, very entertaining. And after each uh, folktale, he goes through and he talks about if he were to write it for a modern audience, how he would change it. And that's very interesting. Um, the next one is actually a very popular one that a lot of people have probably heard before. It's just lore. Uh, this one goes a bit more into some more realistic scenarios as well as things like cryptids. Um, those are probably the episodes I like the best. Um, but they also talk about um, hauntings and that more spooky things. Uh, so if you're into spooky, then that's a good one. And then, uh, finally, this is the one that I've actually found the most recently. It's just called Myths and Legends. And he goes into a lot of, um, I guess, more mythical and legendary type um, stories, such as uh, the Norse sagas. And he goes into Slavic folklore, which is my personal favorite. Uh, as well as I'm trying to think a lot of Greek mythology. Um, so I guess he takes a little bit more of a historical spin on his, and uh, he also has um, a good bit of commentary where he does talk about how the historical context at times and how he has altered certain details to make it more palatable to the modern day listener, but he does address those. 
all right so that's it for the um the folklore-esque ones uh next up are just general reading ones um one that I have found very recently is called Teaching My Cat to Read. <laughs> um, this is one where three young women have got together sort of during the events of 2020 and were reading books and decided to do a podcast about it. Uh, they are very insightful and hilarious at the same time. I really enjoy listening to their perspectives on some of my favorite books. Uh, they have done Small Gods by Terry Pratchett, so they get extra points for me. Um, as well as several other, just, they, they span genres. Um, they did, I think, Much Ado About Nothing. They're doing a Temeraire, uh, His Majesty's Dragon, which is about dragons during the Napoleonic Wars. One of my favorite series. Um, and so they... They span to different genres, and uh, yeah, they're just very interesting to listen to. I definitely recommend them. Let me see. Sorry, I didn't actually write <laughs> my list in any sort of order. All right, the next uh, general uh, one is Paranormal Captivity. And this is one that is about a lot of cozy mysteries, if you... Um, know that genre. It's usually about <laughs> a bakery or a bookstore or a library, um, something, a comfort space, I guess, and uh, somebody who runs it or works at it and they discover a crime, usually a dead body, and they have to figure it out. And often <laughs> there is a cat helping them to do it. Um, so that's what a cozy mystery is if you're not familiar. And they uh, mostly do uh, cozy mysteries on paranormal captivity. I really love them. Um, they're very, it's a very wholesome, just sort of snuggly um, podcast. If you want to just listen to a podcast on a rainy day with a cup of tea, then that's definitely one that I would recommend. Um, the final one for just general uh, bookishness is uh, story punk. This is one where they go into different genres of punk aesthetics, um, such as cyberpunk, steampunk. I actually found them because I was looking for more information on uh, solar punk, and uh, they go into that. They talk about different, or they interview different creators and uh, talk about different literature, different video games, that sort of thing within the punk genre. Um, let's see. So that's it for the general ones. Last but not least, Discworld. <laughs> so um, the first one that I'll mention is definitely a more lore-based Discworld one. Um, he occasionally talks about other fantasy things. Um, I think he ended up making a secondary show for that. But um, it's called The Witches and Wizards Portal. It used to be called um, Discworld Portal, but because of rights issues, he changed it. And he he is just so well-read, especially in Discworld. And he goes into the details of character dynamics and their relationships. He goes into different timeline uh, commentary. He just goes very deep into all of these Discworld things, uh, things that I would love to do videos on one day. We'll see. <laughs> um, but yes, um, I very much recommend checking him out if you are interested in Discworld lore. Um, he do It is full spoilers, um, so if you haven't read all of Discworld or most of Discworld, then I recommend holding off for a little bit. But he is wonderful. Um, sometimes he has guests on his show to do voices for different characters. Um, it's just a lovely podcast. Uh, next up is The Death of Podcasts. This is a couple who are going through and reading the, um, the books chronologically. Uh, they have very interesting perspectives because the wife is a D&D &D nerd who loves fantasy and has read a ton of fantasy. Um, but the husband 
is not a fantasy fan at all, but they both love Terry Pratchett and they both love Discworld. And so they offer sort of two different perspectives whenever they're going through it. Um, it's very interesting and fun to listen to. I feel like I'm saying that with all of these, but they are, I promise, okay? Um, so, and then last but not least is um, the Weird Sisters podcast. And that's about Y or W Y R D, uh, Weird Sisters. It's named after. Uh, the second book in the witches series uh and they also are doing the chronological chronological read through of the Discworld series um they are a very a very wholesome sort of feel where i don't know it i'm trying to describe how it feels to to listen to them without saying something like it's like walking through a meadow when it's sunny out but that's kind of how my brain works. Um, so yes, listening to this podcast is like walking through a sunny meadow. Um, that's all I've got. All right. Um, so those are 10 podcasts that I recommend to readers of fiction, especially speculative fiction. Um, if you have any podcast recommendations, please share them. I love listening to podcasts and, um, I would love to hear from you guys. I hope this video was helpful to you and I will see you around.